So, we were going to rent a trencher. Yeah, we were headed that way, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> and we decided to try it with the tractor. Well, my neighbor had that plow, and he was like, that plow will work. Okay. And it does, work. it does work with people standing on it. Yeah. And it just takes a while. So you're regretting not having the trencher. Because mm -mm. now you got to dig some by hand, too. You would with the trencher, too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> trencher was $200. Yeah. If we finished in a day, it was $200. Right. So what are you what are you doing? What are we trenching? I'm just running a well a cold water line from here from the well over to the building, and then we're gonna run hot water and power from the house out to the building. That way we can have we can work all night, you know. <laughs> now we're gonna have all of our freezers out here. Yeah. And um, got the the plucker the plucker takes power and. Mm -hmm. A dishwasher and a washing machine and all that good stuff out there. Yeah. So yep. Some power and hot water. I'm hoping the hot water's going to work going that far. Oh. It's going to take a while to get hot out here. Okay. Mm. So is it like one of those things where, like, before you've had me to run the hot water in the sink for a while before I run the dishwasher? Yeah. Is that, like, something yeah. we would have to do probably? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, but like the milk and stuff, that's the main reason for the hot water. Yeah. You can just have it running a little bit, you know, that's before true. we get ready to clean up. Yeah. And we're using all the water anyway. It's not like we're wasting it. Yeah. It's all, it's all going to drain down to a tank and get pumped back up to the field. Yeah. Irrigate the trees or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's the fun part here, isn't it? <laughs> it is hard. I was doing it a while ago, too. Yeah, this is one of the hardest tools to run, probably. Yeah. Matic. This is why they invented backhoes. <laughs> <laughs> Gets it done, though, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not quite deep enough, but we've got a whole pile of dirt over there. I'm going to get my neighbor over here with a skid steer and bring some dirt in, and we'll grade it and make it a little higher. Do the same thing there, especially where we're driving over it. Yeah. And so if we get the water line in this week, then we'll, what's the next thing? We're just going to get gravel for out here? Yeah, we'll get gravel for all of this and bring gravel all around, make a circle drive. Yeah, that'll be so nice. It's not so muddy. Yeah. I'll probably gravel around the front of the building or around the whole thing too. Mm -hmm. It's not so muddy. Yeah, that, that's what we're finding. This part right here is like super muddy since it's been raining and it's hard to walk up there, so. Mm -hmm. I'll just grade this a little better with the tractor and some dirt, make yeah. it a little more level to the building. Yeah. Get some gravel. Sounds good. Yep. Good morning. Um, it's been about a week since we've updated you guys. I'm going to take you around the gardens and uh, just show you what we've been doing and what's growing and all that kind of stuff. Just give you a little update. Um, but first, I wanted to thank Ariat Boots. Um, we were in touch with Ariat Boots. Uh, it's been a while now that we started talking to them and they decided to um, send us some of their boots for our kids and for Adam, I already had a pair of boots that I loved and so that's why I was very confident about working with them. And um, so the kids got to go and pick out what they liked and um, Adam got some and we wanted to share those with you guys. So I'm actually gonna show our unboxing um, videos here, those clips. All right, so we got a box. And y'all know what it is, right? Yeah. Boots. Our boots. Pretty sure. Wait, wait, wait. Why is it on the 
they might come in separate boxes. So let's see what we got so far. Is this yours? Yeah, Ariat was nice enough to send us some boots so we can show you guys. And so the kids all picked out a pair. Oh, oh, he's excited. And Adam picked out a pair. So who's this who's, baby? Oh, these are Travis's. Let me see, buddy. I think those are Sydney's, right? Is that those yeah. are the ones you picked out, right? Yeah. Look, <laughs> those are the ones you picked, right, buddy? Mm -hmm. I didn't get mine. I know, Daddy didn't get his either, so we'll have to wait, okay? Because they come in two different boxes, all right? What do you think, Sydney? Those are pretty. Those are like mine, but a different color, aren't they? Stella has been waiting and waiting for her boots. Uh, everyone else got them in the family except for her. And so every time UPS or FedEx come, she like runs out here and asks, are those my boots? And every time we're like, no, I'm sorry. We didn't know where her boots were. And um, she actually doesn't know that UPS just came and here are her boots. So I'm gonna tell her. <laughs> Finally, let's you open them up, baby. Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. This is a pretty blue box. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they like rainbow. Oh, those are pretty. Those look even prettier than on the picture. I know. Oh, wow. I love those, Stella. Those are so pretty. Got all kinds of designs. Yeah. Think they're gonna fit you? They look big. I think they go fit. Well, we wanted to get them big enough. Yeah, we wanted to get them big enough so that they will you'll wear them a while. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna fit you fine. <clears throat> nice. Can I try mine? Sure. <laughs> I, do they look big? They do look big on you. Yeah. <laughs> so, we love the new boots. We love them. Um, we've been seeing some poisonous snakes in our yard um, since the warmer weather started. And uh, I feel really confident now that we make our kids wear their boots outside all the time now. Like they love running around barefoot and we love for them to be running around barefoot, but um, we just can't take that chance right now. So I make them wear their area boots every time they go out the door and they love them. They're so comfortable. Um, they're very sturdy, very hardy boots. And um, so we're really, really pleased with them. So thank you, Eric, for sending us um, sending us our boots. If you guys are interested in trying Ariat out for yourself, we have a link down in the description that we would appreciate you um, using if you decide to go check them out. So, all right, let's go look around. I planted some stuff in my green stalk and this is um, the first time I've planted some flowers in here because we were doing like lettuces and stuff but now I've got some flowers that I got at a local nursery and um, I'm really excited about them they're already growing a lot I just planted this last week uh, I also transplanted uh, some comfrey 
and some of it's doing okay some of it transplanted okay and some of it is not but um, Adam feels confident that these are actually going to be all right and grow back I know comfrey is super hardy um, so here's some thyme that I got this is the only um, like herb that I got and yeah see some of these not doing so well so I'm either gonna just like wait a little while and see how they do um, or I will take those out and plant something else in there but like this one's doing really well look how look at all these new shoots right here so but I'm super pleased with my green stock you guys saw um, probably last fall or winter where we got our green stock this actually um i wish i would have gotten a rolling base but we had it in our greenhouse and i knew i wasn't going to be rolling it around in there so i just got the um i just got the turnable like the turntable one um so this one will actually like rotate around uh when i have two hands to use i can do it because <laughs> it's pretty heavy right now um, but I wish I would have gotten the rolling one so I could move it around out here um, wherever I wanted to. So I'm actually probably going to purchase one of those rolling ones. But if you guys want your own green stalk, um, there's a link in our bio or a link in our um, our notes, our show notes. And you can get $10 off if you use our code FarmLife. So anyways, pretty. This one's blooming. I love that one. Our potatoes are looking good. They started looking a little funky right here. Adam thinks it was the heat from last week because we got almost to 100 last week. But, um, but they're still looking pretty good, I think. I'm excited about them. Tomatoes looking good. We've spent a lot a lot of time out here <laughs> in the past few weeks more every day and today we've been working on trellising the cucumbers out here we planted these cucumbers several weeks ago and they're starting to need some trellising um, because like you can see inside <laughs> what this squash and uh, cucumber patch looks like in there and it's just completely taken over because we didn't trellis it so um, it looks beautiful but we're kind of regretting not trellising it so uh, Adam's got the um, nylon twine out here and he has put up these stakes um, we're gonna see this is just wire we're gonna see if um, this is gonna work we think the weight of them might cause them to kind of slide down as they get heavier, but we'll we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's check out what we got going on in the high tunnel. So these are officially taller than both Adam and I. <laughs> um, we've just started getting some ripe ones. So we are thinking that we will be selling tomatoes within the next week. So that's really exciting and really terrifying at the same time this is what we've prepared for so we are ready but we know that our season just got way busier <clears throat> we've got some heirlooms needing to be picked already probably before they split we did encounter some blossom end rot in some of these. So, most of them are, we caught, they look good. But some of them, some of them fell victim to it. Are you inspecting? Are you inspecting the tomatoes? Uh, you like them? Mm hmm. Are they pretty? <laughs> Are they pretty? Come with mommy. Let's go look at mommy's herbs. Wow. 
We've just started harvesting some squash. What do you guys like to do with your squash? Do you eat it all fresh or do you can it, freeze it? What do you guys like to do with your squash? We usually try to eat all of ours fresh. Um, so I've never really done a whole lot of canning with the squash, but I'm just curious to see what you guys do. So I need to get out here and weed my, my herbs today, but the cilantro's flowering. This basil's taken off for sure. The purple one did not, um, but we got parsley, some old kale. Um, under there, you can see the, we need to take this down probably, but um, the lemon balm. Got some pretty zinnias. And we've had our rosemary over here for a while. Oregano. Hyssop. Got some mint, peppermint. And got some um, lemon basil right here. I've never grown that before. And some lavender. I think that's all I got over here. I mean, this is all old jungle <laughs> I think it, I think it's broccoli I'm not sure it's a jungle over here I had planted some peppers over here but this side just doesn't get enough sun I don't think so they didn't they didn't make it some okra these two rows right here and then this is the squash that I planted the other day on the last video as you can see down here towards the front didn't do so well I knew it wouldn't it was just drowning right here but up there those are looking pretty good and also you might remember uh, last summer I was out here digging hostas up and moving them to the back of the house and we had planned on putting some um, mountain laurel out here but we actually didn't get around to doing that this winter and um, so at the uh, greenhouse the nursery that I got the plants for the green stalk that I showed you guys I actually picked up some hydrangeas and so we've got two hydrangeas out here. And um, we're going to see how they do. Um, the lady said that, you know, they can do pretty well in shade if they get a little bit of sun. So this area does get a little bit of morning sun, but not a lot. So we're just going to try it out and see. They weren't very expensive. Try it out and see how they do. I hope they do great because I love hydrangeas. Um, and then we have a big bare spot here in the middle that I hope to get that mountain laurel planted. Like a big section of mountain laurel right here because it's so pretty. Um, so we'll see. So that's about all for today. A little update on what we're doing. Uh, we will be filming some more this week, especially as we start selling our tomatoes, harvesting our tomatoes and selling them. So stick around for that for sure. And um, I hope you guys have a good day. Bye. <laughs> so what are you doing just kind of i mean you're weeding but you're kind of like healing it up a little bit while you're doing it yeah or? and there was some fertilizer there i was just trying to mix it down a little bit okay feather well, meal oh okay see it let's see it right there It's all that stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought it was. Ground up feathers. Huh. Yeah, it's for nitrogen. Okay. Well, I filmed the whole video and then I said to myself, Adam wasn't in this video. Uh -oh. And we have people who <laughs> keep saying, show us more, Adam. Yep. <laughs> so, here, here you are. Pulling weeds. 
weeding. Yep, this is like what you do all day, every day. Yeah. Seems you like. Stay on top of it. Yeah. Yep. Well, it looks nice out here. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you don't get them out, they're robbing nutrients from the tomatoes too. Yeah. It's not just, you know, they're not good, but they, they rob the nutrients too. Mm-hmm. Got a ton of apples on this tree. Yeah. Made it down this year. Yeah. Be ready soon too in a month or so probably. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if we don't sell all the squash what I want to do with the squash. Mm. I mean I've never really canned squash because I guess we haven't really made it that much, you know? Yeah. I mean we have, but not like yellow squash. We, we can always turn it into bacon. That's true. But I wonder how it would be canned. I don't know. Probably just kind of mushy. Mushy, yeah. yeah. All right, hen. All righty. Thanks for your assistance. Yeah.